Sorry, somehow the recorder stopped. Anyway, what I was saying when I cut myself off was, it's all about your guys' resources. That's all it is, dude. What do you think these nonprofit orgs and all of these charity organizations and all of this stuff, what is it that people are trying to do? It doesn't really matter as long as it's good. So when you can have this whole cornucopia of nonprofit organizations come together with for-profit organizations that can get tax write-offs for giving goods and doing all this and that and the other. It's about organizing and coming together. First you have your mission statement, then you have all the key players that are involved, then you allocate the tasks to them. That's what I studied in college, human resource management. And interestingly, I never really worked in an HR department except when I did my internship and they were a group of the lowest pieces of vermin that I had ever met in my life, but that's I right. Okay, so what we're going to do here, instead of just making drops, um, it's a blowout. I'm going to go ahead, because I've got so much energy right now, and I have to kind of, how does this, okay, let me explain how it works. You start to feel the Holy Ghost and you keep doing good, and you keep doing good, and you get this energy, and you have so much freaking energy and love in you that it is just bursting out, cup overflowing, dude. You're going nuts. People like Prince, people like that are entertainers and stuff, they get on the stage, they work it out physically. Physically, they do, you know, all of the stuff. Mentally, they play their instruments, they just go, 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 off, 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 do something killer, and a lot of those people crash. With me, what happens is I go and go and go and go and go, 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 and then I don't want to stop. And I don't, and I had a hard time for like five years doing this whole thing about do you want to know the Jesus deal? Um, I had a really hard time because I would get so much energy and I'd be going a million miles a minute and then I started talking faster and I started thinking faster than people and people couldn't keep up with me. So instead of people speeding up, by way of the Holy Spirit working in them, it was very rare that I pinged off of somebody really well, where we could just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that's part of how I would end up in these hospitals. I would just be doing something really cool, you know, not hurting anybody, maybe soliciting at the very most, and a cop would roll up. Or somebody wouldn't understand what I was doing by taking a towel and putting it in a pool and pulling it out of the pool and and taking the water and you know these rituals that people have a lot of people do these things in very private and safe places like churches and synagogues and temples and walls and places where that type of behavior or that expression of your spirituality is accepted man i just did a good job of explaining what 200 takes was so what i'm going to do now is because i take lithium um, and some of the other medications that I take, um, it really kind of inhibits you a little bit. It takes the edge off of that, the good feeling. So sometimes you end up feeling just painstakingly numb. You know, you don't want to do anything. You don't care about getting out of bed. You don't have initiative and motivation and that zest and that fire and that excitement that we should all feel every day. And a lot of it is because of evolution and the way that the world is. And instead of those things working inside of our bodies and we go out into the mission field and do these great things, we create technology that works fast. Faster, 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 faster. You know, we live in a society where we're expected to be multitasking all the time. And that's why in one of the previous clips I left that public broadcast message about talking on the phone and driving for a reason because we get so wrapped up and inundated with all of our technology excuse me that um you know I had a guy ask me how do you think this is gonna go how do you think what is it that's gonna happen and I said honestly I think that it is gonna be power grids that get knocked out we're so energy dependent in the wrong ways and, 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 and in addition to that, we are so used to, we've conditioned ourselves to be so tuned in to everything else that the real world around us is falling apart. The things that, and the people that need our attention do not get the attention. 
and I don't know how to take this information and all of these clips and assemble it and put it together in a professional package. All I know is that even though my dreams are just right out there for the taking, and it's coming, and when it comes, it's going to be hard, and it's going to be fast, and it's going to be monumental, and it's going to be epic, and it might not be until the day I die. It might not be until the day where I get to take my spirit out of this carcass and this body that has been put through hell from medical health professionals for so long. My body has is broken. It's fat. It's, it's overworked. It's not functioning. My blood pressure's too high. My blood sugar's too low. Everything about my body, because of what other people did to me, you know, and that's really what I want to do next, is to focus on myself, get myself back in shape, and just do this thing. So, that was a very long sidebar. A six minute sidebar. But that's okay. So, yes I know that I'm overweight and I don't look the way that I want to. It's why I have pictures on my wall to inspire me. Isn't this really cool when you can find inspiration in God and Jesus and yourself? When you can love yourself, regardless of... How it is that other people are going to perceive you physically, aesthetically, you know. The body can change. Your spirit. That's something that people really, really, really need to get a grip on. Their spiritual lives. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hit them up pretty hard. And the guy will probably get all ticked off, but I don't care. What is he going to do? sue me. <laughs> I used to have this pin that said, I got in trouble for being good. Nothing's ever stopped me. Nothing ever will. So we're going to come here and we're going to put, let's put a faith. No, that's not going to work. Hang on, I got to listen to the Holy Spirit right now. they got a new coin timer okay my favorite place is always here I've taken many many pictures and left many many things I used to leave money in the changed dish today we're leaving crosses <laughs> these crosses are gonna be worth a lot of money that's what I'm saying everyone's gonna start trading out I'll give you this for that it's gonna go back to bartering because people aren't going to be able to do business the way that they used to. And things that seem really significant are going to be worth their weight in gold. So I'm putting a faith mat here. Putting, and you know, oops, oh it landed the way it needed to. Okay, so we'll put this one here. Alright, it's a very tricky to learn how to harness the Holy Spirit. Okay. What I used to do is go all out. Like, I would take streamers and stream certain places. and to, I mean, I just deck these places out. I'd go out in front of churches, leave candy bars and streamers and gold chocolate coins and all this. And people say they want a miracle. Well, I'm your miracle, folks. I'll leave that there over to the garbage can. Okay. Alright. One time I came here and I got the coolest freaking axe box. And see, you know, people would think that I'm like homeless or something. You know, why is she going through the garbage? Okay, there's nothing there I want or need. So I'm going to leave Jesus. There you go. <laughs> Can't say he wasn't here. See it with your own two eyes. Alright, let's move on.